All right, I know it's been a while since we've made a video, but I've got something special for you today. This just came in the mail. And if you don't know what this is, this is a simple piece of RAM for a laptop, which doesn't sound like a big deal, but I bought this 4 gig stick for $13.15, and I'll be doubling the RAM in my laptop. My laptop is Lenovo ThinkPad X220, and it's a bit older, but um, a lot of other people have been saying this is, you know, this is the best laptop to buy this day and age if you're looking for something that's going to last a while. Because this thing, I've had it since 2011, actually. So I bought this thing new, but people who are buying them used for like 100 bucks. They're great laptops. They do everything. This one just needed some more RAM. So for 13 bucks, I went all in. So today, we're going to install it. All right, so step one, you're going to want to flip this bad boy over and get a screwdriver. Do you know why? Because you got to open this thing. So let's give it a shot. Okay, that one's not going to work. Because I used that one to file down a... I filed it down to get into a MacBook because you have to have one of those torque screwdrivers and I just wasn't having it that day. So, unlike that MacBook, this is very easy to upgrade. Simply flip off this panel, and would you look at that? We got one RAM and one not RAM. That's the technical term for it. So after that, you just pop this other one in there. And so I actually, uh, I took this cover off and looked at the, uh, the RAM slot before I ordered it. I wanted to get, um, I wanted to get the same piece, right? Um, and as far as I can see here, looks like we've got the exact same stick. So that's great. So after that, you pretend to know what you're doing. Just kidding. Stick it in. Should have done a dry run. I'm not sure how to get that thing to pop up, so let's try it over here. If you just push down, don't push too hard, Jimmy. You're gonna ruin it. Actually, this is the way these videos go, isn't it? Yeah, you just. I hope for the best, and uh, then you end up getting thermal paste all over the place. Ah, oh, jeez. All right, we got a break. I'm not ruining this. All right. So I was close. I just wasn't pushing it in far enough. So push it in, and then you push it down. Look at that. Nobody almost ruined a laptop today because YouTube. That is a reference to one of my other videos where I almost destroyed a brand new CPU by getting thermal paste on the pens and the motherboard. But luckily, that computer is just fine. But it was pretty, uh, it was pretty intense, at least for me. So after that, you just screw these bad boys in like so. And let's see if she starts. You'll notice I have the 9 cell battery on this one and while that battery doesn't nearly hold the capacity that it originally did it still gets about three to four hours which is pretty awesome <clears throat> I think when I had it originally it got 12 hours it was crazy but I don't think there's a lot of people that manufacture those batteries still hmm. I think it's dead, Jim. All right, so looking at the system info here in Linux Mint, let's get in there closer. We can see with all the flashy things there, let me see if I can focus, it does have 7.7 .7 gigabytes of RAM. But if you can't see that, that's all right because it is way blurry and flickery. So yeah, guys, that's uh, that's about it for this video. 
Um, it's very straightforward. These things are fantastically affordable on eBay right now. And um, so if you are looking for a laptop, check one of these out. There's a lot of great YouTubers that are doing videos on these right now. Um, I believe Laptop Retrospective is one I've been watching. It does a great job of breaking down the different ThinkPad models, differences between them, uh, doing upgrades. So yeah, I'll link to his channel below. And um, yeah, check out a ThinkPad today.